Hello, my name is Heather Smith and today I want to talk to you about the Reconciliation Report in Xero. So welcome to my free online training videos in the Xero product. If you'd like to get in contact with me, please visit my website at heathersmithsmallbusiness.com. I am a Xero certified advisor, an author, a consultant, speaker and can assist you with all aspects of Xero. So let's go through and have a look at this. Uh, this is the demo company and the actual Xero dashboard here. And I want to drill down to get to the reconciliation reports. I'm going to click on the ANZ bank account up here. And you'll see over here, oh, did that, my, did that pop up for me? Oh, no, here. That's where I've actually got my reconciliation report. So I'm going to drill down into my reconciliation report and just discuss the various aspects of it. So you can see across the tab top, you have um, four ta three tabs, bank reconciliation summary, bank statement and statement exceptions. And what I want to highlight to you is I'm going to initially show you uh, this demo company has two bank accounts in it. The first one is quite small so if I click on the drop down arrow and I'll check that this is Ridgeway Savings and I'm going to click update and what you have here, this is ideally what you're looking for. The balance in zero equals the statement balance. That means you've reconciled, that means everything's sorted, you've got no outstanding transactions and look essentially that is what your uh, goal is in reconciling the accounts. If I pop into the ANZ one and click update, you'll actually see here I've got a lot of things that are uh, outstanding, haven't been reconciled. Let me highlight the header titles here, I've got outstanding payments, I have outstanding receipts there and if I go down a bit further, um, I have a list of total unreconciled statement lines and my final statement balance. The statement balance is sitting at 89573 and if I pop up to the top you'll see that it was the balance in zero is actually sitting at 415932. So until all of those transactions have been reconciled those two amounts will be different and it means that I'm not necessarily able to rely on the financial information as at 14th of October because it may not be complete and there may be some movements there or there will be some movements there. So uh, what I also want to highlight to you, I can click on this wide view here and that gives me a better view of the information there. Um, I want to also highlight, I can click here on, I'm just going to pop into Ridgeways and click here on Bank Statement and the Bank Statement uh, shows me in this particular situation I actually pop back to the ANZ um, business account. If I click reconcile, go back maybe to perhaps to August, update, see if anything information comes through. No it doesn't. Okay, so a few information has come through here. So let's see what it's saying to me. I've only pulled up what is reconciled and it's saying that the opening balance is this 413098 and these items back in June were actually uh, the source of them, is that they were imported and they have indeed been reconciled. Remember it's a demo company so uh, not everything is, is, is perfectly normal. Uh, but if I untick that one and then click update, anything that actually hasn't been reconciled is now showing and that's actually quite a lot of information. So I know that to uh, reconcile this I'd have to go through those but I can't do it at this stage, this is just showing me the bank statement. The third tab along is my 
statement exceptions. Oh, my statement exceptions, I'm going to click on that. And if I click on Ridgeway Savings and update that information and then maximize there. Maximize there. This is actually shows me the dates, the description, um, and any they reconciled the sources manual, the reason manual. So just maybe shows me what uh, any exceptions that it de any exceptions that it deems for this particular um, uh, statement account. So there are other reasons that it can have here, but it's just saying, well, these ones were manual, so we're identifying for them for you. Okay. Now, I've just popped out to the dashboard, and I just wanted to show you one other small area. If I click in here on ANZ Business, and if I need to actually unreconcile something, uh, all of the yellow ones haven't been reconciled, but I actually have down the bottom here this Woolworths one. I tick there and I actually click Unreconcile. Click Unreconcile, and that means the actual transaction down there. It still remains there, but I haven't matched up to something in zero. So that shows you how to uh, unreconcile something. So I think that covers uh, a few, fair few things. Thank you. So if you need to get in touch with me, my name is Heather Smith. Uh, my name is Heather Smith. You can contact me at Heather Smith Small Business. I'm a Zero Certified Advisor, a author, a writer, speaker, Chartered Certified Consultant, Accountant, and Consultant, and can help you with all your Zero needs. Thank you. Please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, which has lots of other free online training in zero.